and oh, that video I just watched, the guy was saying that, and he didn't even uh, go into the Bible really. He was talking about Europeans. He's like saying these people are foolish. Exactly, but it, you know how why they're foolish? Because these people going back to their Greek and Roman ancestors, they go in, take over lands, and they oh, we're the we're these people. They went into Egypt, we're we're the Egyptians. They went took over our land, we're, yes. we're the Jews. You know what I'm saying? They, they completely they, they pretended foolish. to be things they not exactly. hiding stuff and got us believing it. Exactly. So, and now it's really fulfilled in the ones that's over there in our homeland now, walking around with them little Shirley Temple mm -hmm. joints. Black hats and suits looking like fools. Like some fools, man. Like, exactly. you know, beard talk, man. They call stringy and weak. Exactly. But now they are being portrayed as the real people of the book. And now when our brothers get to studying and we get, we got the full understanding they can prove by their own books that they're not the people, now you become angry. You see that? Because I was even, I mean, because my um, buddy, actually the guy that's, um, that was telling me I got the two Jehovah references from, mm -hmm. um, he actually has a book. Um, it's called the Ancient Hebrew uh, Text Site and whatnot. Uh -huh. And um, it, it studies, like, the book is all about uh, Hebrewism. It talks about, like, the traditions, mm -hmm. calendars, and things like that. And it's amazing because the guy is actually still, you know, I mean, he has the Jehovah book and he has the Hebrew book. Right. So he's, like, not only being one-dimensional, but I was reading stuff on that. And it was saying how, um, how the whole Bible... The whole Old Testament was written in Hebrew, except for, I think, Luke and Acts. Well, Luke, the, the, that's Luke. New Testament. The Old Testament was written in complete Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah, but he's saying from the new one, I think, okay, the other two books, they weren't. And those were, like, what, written in Greek or something like that? Well, honestly, it's evidence that even in the new, it was written in the Hebrew. You know what okay. I'm saying? But what now, we're working with today is primarily coming from out of the Greek text. Because let me ask you, because when I got that Apocrypha, um, they said that it wasn't written in Hebrew. This is one of the games that the Europeans play because they know... But they kept the books from us at the same time. So exactly. you kind of think about it like, well, why would you keep it then? But this is the thing. When you get an original 1611 King James, the Apocrypha was there. Yeah, see, I got saying? a 1611 James on, a, uh, on my phone, mm -hmm. but I don't think the Apocrypha is on If you phone. go get your... What, did you bring yours? I think I got it. Anyway, I'll, I'll bring it If we come to uh, class tomorrow, I'll show you. In the original 1611 Bible, the Apocrypha is there. And it was there for over 300 years. In 1928, they decided to take it out. Because they know it's information recorded in there that they don't want us to find out. You know what I'm saying? Like things that they have done and so on and so forth. So that's why they took it out. Now I'm not sure, though, because I remember seeing something like that. Uh -huh. On the history channel, if I'm not mistaken, a long time ago, was it? My what, bad, if people. I'm not, let me know. If I'm wrong or right, was it a book of the Bible that was written by a woman at all in there? It's a few that has titles of women, like Judas. You know what I'm saying? Esther. That's cool. You know and because it was one, they were saying because mm -hmm. it's because like the Roman Catholic Church didn't really believe in the women having any power, so they took the, took the book out. Well, that, I mean that's that's it's possible. You know what I'm saying? But then what? They didn't take the book of Ruth out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, it's when you get to dealing with that apocrypha, the thing is they didn't them, them Romans didn't want us knowing because it's keys there. They didn't want us seeing these particular keys. Long story short. And I was looking at how like they had really like after the curse of Noah, how like um, how they was misusing the, that curse to say that slavery was okay. Exactly. Now that's one of the keys. That's one of the keys right there. They said that uh, that because. Slavery is justified upon us because we are the children of Ham. Because Ham did what he did with Noah, you know what I'm saying? And Noah cursed his son. He cursed with black skin or something. That's nowhere stuff. near in the scripture. I'm at like what? All. Yeah, and the the video because I was watching some of the videos, they were saying, "I'm gonna show you how this is how, how they didn't mis uh, use religion and try to use it against us and take our and, and, and keep it from us so that we never know what's going on." But exactly. Things have been decoded already, man, and, and the light is showing, man. It's the whole thing. That's why they never wanted us to know how to read. Exactly. They never wanted us to learn how to read. And when you watch Roots, it shows you this, like, right in your face. You know, I, need to, I, I never thought, all the movies I didn't got, I never thought to get Roots. Yeah. Never it's thought got about some, to get Roots. got some good truth in there. Right, and I'm a style. I'm a style, but what's the name did that one, though? Doesn't matter. Bro. It was kind of weak to me. It's weak. It was kind of watered down. It's they all watered down. The, the, the so-called Jews 
was the ones that was behind roots. But there's certain keys that's in there when you become into this understanding that you can pull out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's the whole thing. The so-called Jew runs Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But through the spirit of the Most High, certain things get, get put out there. You, know yeah, you can't hide everything. No. Nah. You can't. I learned that, man. That's why some of this stuff coming up. They like, they like to put this stuff out there so it's like in your face, but you don't know it. It's yeah. like going into the, to the gas station and you got the Arab there and they start speaking in their language and they're talking about you to your face, but you don't know it. Know, it's yeah. like a thrill. I, 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 forgot, I forgot what you call that. Uh, what do you call yeah, it? it is a term for it. But like you said, yeah, it's like a thrill for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, can you imagine that? That's like, what they do. That's what they do. I'm talking movies. about him in his face. Exactly. I'm smiling at him like, yeah, hey, yeah, let's get this to you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They do that with our movies today. A lot of them. Right. They do that with all our movies. Right. Exactly. It's to see how dumb you are, really, man. It's uh, like a satire or some type of, not even satire. It just shows how dumbed down the people are, really. Right. Like, you, can do, this, you can do this in your face. Right. And uh, you ain't even going to know. Exactly. Cause that's how dumbed down generations have become. Mm-hmm. Fools teaching fools teaching fools. Exactly. So carry on, man. But that's that's you know primarily one of the reasons why you know a lot of our brothers is angry, and why you feeling the way you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like I, but we all battle. You know what I'm saying? But once again, Israel's duty is to represent represent the heavenly Father and the earth. So we gotta we gotta be able to take this truth to our people first, and then to the rest of these Gentiles. So. We have to balance that thing out. You know so, I mean? Gentiles are the red man, primarily the Europeans. But it's, it that term can be applied to all other nations that's not with God, not Israel. Not Israel. You know what I'm saying? So when you read in the New Testament in Romans, where it say to the Jew first, or really supposed to be to the Israelite first, then to the Gentile. You know what I'm saying? So and the that, Edomites. And then I was looking at another yeah. clan of people that was really hairy. It was like E is saw you or something. Esau, Esau, Esau. which is our brother. They are amongst Esau. Our, our, our brother is he's amongst the Europeans today. The Esau. Yeah. The Esau. Okay, because this dude was hairy, man. I mean, it's he looked like 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 he come out fresh out of womb, man. That's how hairy he looked, man. Like 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 baby hair on top of his head when it's wet. <laughs> he had hair all around his eyes, and I was looking at the the, the Edomites. The that Esau. was our twin. He's our twin brother, though. You know what Who? Saying? Esau's our twin brother. Esau? Mm-hmm. In fact, he's our older brother. You know, he came, well, he came out first. You know what I'm saying? So, but they are, you know what I'm saying, you can find they are tied into uh, a lot of the ruling families, the ruling bloodlines of the Illuminati. You know what I'm saying? So, like, some of the Rothschilds, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of them have Edomite blood. It's like, like it's kind of some sick stuff. Well, it, what it is is it's Esau, when you read the story of Jacob and Esau, Esau, by him being the firstborn, he had the birthright. So he was supposed to have been the one to represent the Heavenly Father in the earth. Didn't care about his birthright and sold it. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, most I knew his heart was wicked from the gate. So we took on that inheritance. So from that point on, he's been fighting and trying to destroy us. You know what I'm saying? From that point on, all through history. You know what I'm saying? So you find out they the ones funding your eugenics and yeah, you oh, that's, man. That's, you know that's, that was some sick stuff, man. I, I was watching that, man. I I was pissed off because I know where that Planned Parenthood at, man. Yeah. And I heard him <laughs> like the guy calling, like you can choose what ethnicity of of babies you want to eliminate, and then you vote for Obama. It's like, what did you think? And then like the KKK, all that derived from the Democratic Party, man. That's all. Right. It's like, and then how can you? I just system. Cause see what what started getting me to really start going into this kind of stuff is when I started studying stuff like that, like birth certificate truth. Yeah. And I, cause I always be like, man, this stuff ain't right, man. Like I shouldn't have to be go through all this stuff, man. Just to just to drive my it's little small things like to drive my car, and and I found out that uh, the social security number act was like. The number six six six. It was the beast. The beast. It was the beast. Everybody thought that. I mean, this. If you took the the meaning literal, of like somebody put a six 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 on you, then you took it too literal. It was just a. a it was just like one of the numbers for the for the for the codes. 
right. and that too, everybody. It, in the end, it will be forced upon them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we already set up in it when they put us under that Social Security Act. You already been kind of forced into it, but in the end, they're going to either you get down or lay down. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it, but the thing is, it don't start on the physical level. You know what I'm saying? I let my heart right. elaborate on that. It really is. It's it's about worship. You can sum the whole book up, the Bible, up with one word. It's about worship. The Most High wants your worship, and Hasatan, which is Satan, also wants your worship, but he has to trick you into doing it. Most people, he trick you into worshiping him. Get Revelation 12 and 9. It's, he won't come out, you know, most people think he'll, you know, when they think of the devil, they think of, you they know, think of a horn, horn guy, exactly. They think of things too literal. With it's the beast is a man. It's the, the beast is the United States. First, yeah. that's where we live. That's the beast. 1211, you said? 12 and 9. 12 and 9. Let me know when y'all here. The great dragon. Revelations 12 and verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. And Satan. And Satan. So go ahead. Which deceived the whole world. Do what? Which deceived the whole world. He deceives the entire world. They don't say some of it. He says the whole world he deceives. Go ahead. He was cast out into the earth, and his angel was, angels were cast out with him. And his angels were cast out with him. Now get that uh, at the joining Corinthians. Angel of light. Okay. Go to Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. And I'll pick it up at verse thirteen. That's great, bro. That's great. That's a, that's a true help me for you right there, brother. Indeed. She got me started back when we first started talking. We've been together for three years. Uh -huh. And, uh, but I didn't like her church, though, because I something was wrong with her church. I knew that already, but she knew I now. <laughs> so I, I, and I had what, what turned me off is when I had to go meet the pastor. And he was like, yeah, man, I should be a pimp. Because they was trying to get me to, like, sign up for a church and all this stuff. He was telling me all this stuff it used to be. And then I'm like, I, I just it just turned me off completely. Because, like, it just didn't seem right he, he didn't have the cert. Oh, everybody there was old and stupid. He didn't have no young people in his church. Everybody there was like, what, like 50 something and up? Right. And then uh, on top of that, uh, it was one thing too the, 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 the music. The music was so bad, man. I, I never really. Y'all had a bold choir system? It wasn't even have. We didn't even have a choir, uh, man. It was like five. They called them the what? What did they call you? The five heartbeats? Something like it was like, and it was about five men, too, I swear. It was like the watchman. The watchman. It was like five <laughs> old men. They all be trying to sing, and then they be all off keys. Be like, man, we're looking at just like. That's okay. they had to find the heartbeats in the house. I never see the choir, I and mean, it's not even the importance of it, but. Wow. Before all that happened, there was a lot of people in the church. Oh, yeah. They just. You brought me there at the wrong time. Yeah, okay, we say. Uh, and we pick it up at verse thirteen. Yeah, Second Corinthians eleven, and I'm gonna pick it up at verse thirteen. So remember, we just read that he deceives the whole world, right? Right. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Second Corinthians chapter eleven and verse thirteen. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers. Transforming themselves into the apostles of the Messiah. Transforming themselves, meaning they're not really this. They're just transforming themselves to be this. Go ahead. And no marvel, for Hashem himself is transformed into an angel of light. Is, is that what? For Hashem himself is transformed into an angel of light. He's transformed into an angel of light, meaning... 
he looks like something desirable. Right. He See, looks like something you want.